Hey guys, Rebecca back for a health is wealth update. If you're new to me and my channel, I'm here on YouTube documenting my journey to financial independence, but I also wanted to um, work on my health a little bit as well, because while I consider financial independence to be an overall life optimization strategy, I think sometimes I tend to get so minutely focused on the finances of life that I can lose track of other areas in life. So there's no point in reaching financial independence if you let your health slip along the way. So way back when I started this channel, I told y'all that I was going to keep it real and that is what I have done so far on my channel. Um, and just to be 100% honest with you guys, this is the first video that I have filmed since I had that procedure done that I've talked about in my previous videos. Now, I didn't go into details about the procedure and I'm still not going to just for privacy reasons. I mean, I keep it real here on YouTube, but not every detail of your life belongs out on social media. But I only mention that to say that my recovery has not gone as ideal as it could have and what we planned on. So I'm going to update about that towards the end of this video. Um, I'm trying my best to keep to my posting schedule because I know I'm really close to monetization. I'm, I've got all the watch time that I need for my channel, but I'm just a few subscribers short, so I'm really trying to keep to my posting schedule so that YouTube will continue to put my videos out there and I can reach the last few subscribers that I need to become monetized. That being said, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like this video down below. So to get to the Health is Wealth update portion of this video, I only do this type of video once a month, and last month when I updated y'all, the area that I had really struggled in was getting to the gym. And I'm happy to say that in February, I did much better as far as that goes. I um, have a goal to make it to the gym at least twice a week, and I did that for two weeks in February. The third week I went once and then the last week I didn't go at all but I couldn't because I was going to have my procedure that week. Um, the one week where I only went to the gym once, the other gym day I kind of called it. I made up for it because my house is it's a small house, yes, but the whole house is tile floors. And since I bought this place in 2014, I haven't really done like a super deep clean of the grout in the tile. So I decided that I was going to do that. And y'all, I got a scrub brush out and I hand scrubbed all of the grout in this entire house that day. So I was sore from that for two days in my shoulders, my arms, and my legs too. So I counted that as a gym workout even though I didn't officially make it to the gym. So overall, February was good as far as being physically active and getting to the gym goes. Now, my weight, um, when I started this journey in October, or well, when I started documenting on, on YouTube anyway, my weight had kind of creeped up to the 180, 185 range. I believe my official weigh-in when I started all of this was 182 or three, something like that. And I wasn't surprised at that number. I was really starting to feel it as far as just noticing it in my clothes and how I felt physically. I knew my weight was creeping back up. And so I wanted to get that nipped in the bud. And YouTube is really great for um, holding yourself accountable not just for your financial things, but for your health goals as well. So my weight, when we left off last month, it was down to 173.8. And it's a little bit wonky right now since I you know, had my surgery and everything. But um, I, I think that I'm still around 175, at least in my last follow-up. That's what I weighed at the doctor's office. So I may be up just a hair, but 
it is what it is. And honestly, the, the weight number is not as important to me as how I'm feeling. And right now I'm struggling a little bit after having that procedure, but um, overall I'm happy that my weight is pretty stable. It seems like at 175, I'm holding steady. And as far as inches go, um, I actually didn't even measure because I just had this procedure done. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm up or down on my inches. I'll measure for next month's video after I'm through healing. So that brings us to kind of the life update in regards to this procedure that I had done. So as I mentioned, it's not really going as well as it could have as far as the recovery goes. Um, and at a minimum, I am actually uh, on doctor's orders to not go to the gym for at least six weeks. So, I mean, I can go, but the only thing that I am allowed to do is walk on the treadmill. That is it. I can't even jog. I can't do interval training, I can't do the elliptical, the stair climber, can't lift weights like I've been doing. So the only thing I can do if I go to the gym is walk on the treadmill, which I really hate. It, I just find it really monotonous to sit there and just walk on a treadmill. I hate doing that. Um, so yeah, I don't know that I'm going to go to the gym. Maybe once I start feeling better than I will after I get through with this recovery period. But yeah, that's to be determined. And just wanted to give y'all a heads up because next month when I update y'all for the Health is Wealth update, probably not gonna be going to the gym a whole lot in the month of March. Now, for this procedure that I had done, I already mentioned in my March budget plan that I had taken a week off of work, which was if things had gone ideally, then that's all I would need to take off of work. It's now looking like I may need another week. I work 12 hour shifts at night. I work Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday night. And as I'm filming this, today is March 4th, and I have the rest of this week off already that was planned for, but next week I've already messaged my lead tech at work. I do ultrasound for a living, and I've let her know that I'm probably going to need Tuesday night off at a minimum for next week if not the entire week. It just depends how things go in the next few days. And, you know, I don't know how that's going to turn out yet. So I hope I don't need to take the entire next week off. That would really mess up my paychecks. I mean, I don't think I'll be in trouble financially. I'll be able to meet all of my goals. But the only thing that I'm worried about is that if this continues to drag out longer and longer and longer, the recovery from this procedure. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. My budget this month is probably gonna be a little wacky when it comes time for the review, but again, I'm, I'm not really financially worried. I know I'll be able to pay all of my bills and do the things that I need to do. Just not sure how much I'll be able to put towards that savings account I'm working on. Um, also, I am going to try to keep up with my posting schedule. Like I say, I'm really close to reaching monetization for this channel, so I don't want to slack off on my posting, but if I have to, then I have to. It really just depends how things go for the next few days. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys about that. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised that I haven't recovered as well as I thought I was going to. I've had a lot of surgery in my life and historically recovery has gone pretty well for me. Um, I tend to bounce back quickly, but for whatever reason this time it's not going that way. Maybe I'm just getting older, I don't know. But if I have to take more than a couple weeks off of work, I, I don't even know how short-term disability works or any of that. I'm hoping it won't come to that, but I guess it's a possibility. I'm just going to see how the next few days go, play it by ear, and like I say, I'm going to try to keep up with my postings, but 
if I look like hell for my postings here on YouTube, y'all will know why. I haven't had a proper shower in a week now. That's probably TMI, but I can't. I can't do anything but a sponge bath yet, and I really, really want to wash my hair, and I can't do it yet, y'all. It's killing me. So yeah, bear with me for the next couple of weeks here on YouTube. I had filmed a couple of videos ahead um, before I had this procedure done thinking that everything was just going to be fine and I would recover fine, but it's taking a little longer than planned. So now it is what it is and y'all get to see the real deal after having this procedure and struggling to recover as quickly as I had wanted. So I think that will pretty much cover it for the health is wealth update and sort of life update. Um, when it comes right down to it, I needed this procedure to improve my health. So I'm glad that I did it. It sucks that it's not recovering as quickly as I had hoped, but it is what it is. I'm glad that it's done. If the recovery takes longer, then it's just going to take longer, but Overall, my health will improve from having it done. I just hope I don't have to miss a whole lot of work because of it, but we'll see how it goes. So thanks y'all for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end, don't forget to drop a like down below and leave a comment if you'd like. If you have not yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and I'll keep y'all updated on how life goes.